Hi everyone, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist and fellow of the American Academy of Dermatology. Today's video is sponsored by Red Restore, and Red Restore is a company that has made a low level laser therapy cap for hair loss. 100% laser diodes, FDA cleared. So we'll talk about the technology behind this, be objective with some papers. Also excited to open up this cap and try it out. All right, so let's open up this cap. It's a very nice, attractive box. I was actually very impressed when I got this in the mail, how nicely etched the cardboard box is. Very sleek. Wow. Your journey to exceptional new hair starts today. Very nice box, love the presentation of it. Here's the cap. Looks like a power source here. And this looks like the cap itself with all of the diode lasers inside. So to figure out how to get this in here and then try it on. You have an adjustable strap back here. Just slip the cord through that. Let's see if that's what it was meant to do. And then it fits just like so. Goes on my head like that. Got the logo, Red Restore. All right, so I'll be right back and I'll let you know how this goes, okay? Place the cap on the head first and then press the button to turn it on. And the seven minute session will start and apparently it turns off on its own. All right, so I just uh, attached the USB to the battery pack. Flip open this nice case uh, flap and then press the power button and you hear a beep and I know the lasers are on. Um, I'm starting to feel some warmth about three or four minutes into the treatment and um, supposedly with this model, the 272R, uh, this is a seven minute treatment and you use it seven days a week in the user manual. The other models, 148 and 272, are 30 minutes, three days a week, um, three non-consecutive days a week. Um, do not use two days in a row, but for the one that I have, it's seven days, um, once a day, for seven days, seven minute treatments, and apparently it turns off on its own. Um, they do warn that you will feel some warmth. I'm, so, I'm definitely feeling warmth um, about halfway through the treatment. Uh, it's not discomfort, there's no discomfort, it's just more like it feels like I'm outside in the sun and I have direct sunlight on my head right now. For any medicine that you apply in your scalp, whether it's minoxidil, foam or solution, uh, or if you're taking a pill, oh, there we go. I think it's done now, it beeped. Lights are off. Yeah, you feel the warmth in your head. The bulbs are still warm as well. Not scalding hot. And um, yeah, so we'll, uh, just going back to uh, whether you take finasteride pills, all those things take months to kick in. Here, the timeline that they mention uh, in their user manual is it can take up to a year of use. You have to be consistent, it's a gradual process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So in the first one to three months, you're looking at thin, weak hair will shed and it will make room for stronger hair to grow. One, four to six, you'll see hair loss uh, will gradually decrease or even stop completely. And then at month seven and nine, uh, no shedding and you'll have rapid regrowth and fuller hair during that time period and it'll become more visible and apparent. And then towards the end of the year, month 10 to 12, uh, this is the period where maximum hair growth is usually observed. Continuous le use leads to the most noticeable results. For your hair, it takes a while for things to go from the sleep phase, the telogen phase, to the antigen growth phase. So it does make sense that whatever treatment you use for hair loss, it will take time um, to kick in and before you can start seeing visible results. Let's talk really quickly about hair loss. Um, hair loss is very common. It affects 50% of the male population. The technical term for male hair loss is androgenetic alopecia, and for females, it's female pattern alopecia. So this being a very um, you know, common issue and is very distressful for people uh, while they're losing their hair and after seeing the aftermath of losing their hair, people are very bothered by it and self-conscious of it. So, um, you know, when you have hair loss, you're getting miniaturization of the hair follicles and um, you're losing your hair more than we all lose about a hundred hairs a day when you start to lose your hair 
um, uh, from a, from uh, antigenetic alopecia, you're losing at a much faster rate. So um, the whole goal of these treatments, whether it's minoxidil, um, finasteride, those are two uh, FDA approved medications for hair loss. Those, the goal is to preserve the hair you have. To get a regrowth of new hair, to get regrowth of new hair, that's a huge bonus I tell my patients, but the whole goal is to try and bring our hair down to losing, you know, back to 100 hairs a day, not more than that, and preserving what we have already. Okay, so let's talk about minoxidil really quickly. Um, minoxidil is one of the FDA approved medications for, for pattern hair loss and androgenetic alopecia. In terms of the mechanism of action, we don't know. It's, it's uh, traditionally a blood pressure medicine, but we think that maybe it is involved with the nitric oxide pathway and that's similar to the pathway involved with low-level laser therapy. So the vasodilatation from the nitric oxide brings in blood flow, growth factors, stimulates stem cell growth of hair, um, of your hair. So that's postulated for minoxidil. Very similar to what's going on with low-level low laser therapy, um, the cytochrome uh, C oxidase and nitric oxide pathway might be manipulated by the lights. 650 nanometers is about the average of what um, these studies have looked at. And um, that seems like the sweet spot in terms of um, stimulating the stem cells, bringing in growth factors, um, increasing blood flow to the scalp and to the hair follicles. So um, pretty cool technology. The systematic reviews I was reading, um, they do look at um, minoxidil versus the caps, the low level laser therapy caps, and they've found that um, they're pretty similar. So the efficacy wise, I think they're uh, it's, it's, a close, uh, it's a close call. If you combine the two, minoxidil or the brand name Rogaine together with low level laser therapy, they have found that that potentiates each other synergistically and you can get a bigger um, benefit from that with them together versus alone. Which I think, which I agree. You know, now we're seeing that maybe um, PRP injections with the ther uh, with the caps is a nice regimen to go by. Um, so, you know, when you look at pattern alopecia, androgenic alopecia, first line therapy, I don't typically say, "Hey, go buy this cap." It's usually let's talk about ways to combine available therapies that fit your comfort level, your budget. Now I'll just list up here the price for this on their website. Um, this is, uh, not everyone can afford this. So it's always about discussing um, when you come to see me for a hair loss appointment is what's the cause? What's the most likely cause? Is it autoimmune, alopecia areata? Is there a pathologic disease going on, lupus? Is there a medication involved? Um, chemotherapy, um, hair loss is antigen effluvium. If you have a stressful, uh, uh, a stressful event or stressor in your life, that's telogen effluvium, where your hair follicles go into the sleep phase and they shed, and that's a temporary hair loss. And once we determine it is most likely pattern hair loss or androgenetic alopecia, then we say, hey, let's talk about minoxidil. If you're a male, we can talk about finasteride, and that that's like a whole other video itself. Um, and then you can talk about combining things like minoxidil, finasteride, minoxidil, the hair cap, the hair cap plus PRP, all of those things we're trying to do is, because I, I, again, there's no magic bullet for hair loss. We're trying to bring things together and find a way to preserve your hair. And this is a nice solution or a nice option for you to consider if you have the extra cash. Um, you know, let's, you can talk about the, um, the hair cycle very quickly. Um, the hair cycle, there's the telogen phase where your hair is in the sleep phase, telogen. Then there's the antigen phase, growth phase. Then it goes into catagen, which is regression, back to telogen. So in this whole circle of life here, you want your hair to be an antigen as much as possible and spend less time in telogen sleep phase. When you have a stressor, that's telogen effluvium. Your hair goes into sleep mode, hibernation mode, and goes, into, goes to sleep and you lose your hair. What the hair cap is trying to do, and minoxidil, is trying to keep your hair in the antigen phase as much as possible and try to keep it out of catagen leading to telogen and shortening your telogen phase as much as possible too. You know, the pros would be technology combined with other th modalities could help your hair loss, help preserve your hair. Um, it's very portable, not invasive. You can do it all in the comfort of your own home to battle hair loss. 
and um, it also but the cons would be that not a magic bullet like all the other uh, treatments out there um, and also it is um, and also cash wise in terms of if you have extra cash it's something you can consider uh, it might not be a real realistic option for some but much cheaper than say hair transplantation Um, only consider this highly if you're very motivated and you're willing to use this every day for many months because as the manual says you got to stick with it and even expect some hair loss in the beginning potentially your hair that might be in the the telogen phase might shed uh, before it awakens and goes into antigen to grow so you have to be patient with it and stay with it same that I just got it's the same counseling I give for patients on minoxidil who are starting that off you have to be on that for several months six to nine months even just before you can see improvement so this is the same thing you're investing time uh, your hard-earned money your hard-earned time into these technologies or these treatments so that's the summary for it I give it a thumbs up this is a nice option for you to consider um, Red Restore, thank you for sponsoring this video. I'll have their link to their website in the description below. Please check out their website and please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please drop some comments if you've tried a LLLT cap before. Um, and, if, and if you've also um, combined it with other things like minoxidil or PRP, I'd like to know. Um, and thank you guys for the engagement. Thank you for your support on Instagram and TikTok. I'm growing there as well. So, um, and also thank you to Board Vitals for um, having me on your list of top doctors of 2020 to follow Insta on Instagram. Okay, so thanks guys. Um, I'll see you for the next video. And yeah, if you guys are interested, I can do more videos on hair loss. All right, so take it easy, be well, peace.